Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Finally, we have good news pertaining to jobs and unemployment. Here's a headline of an article on your screen from Axios. The March jobs report was good for workers hit hardest by the pandemic. So, as you know, individuals in travel, leisure and entertainment and hospitality suffered the most, but finally, things are improving. Let's take a look at this chart on your screen which shows you the sectors with the biggest improvement in unemployment rate on the left you have high unemployment in 2021 and on the right you have low unemployment so you can start to see that many sectors including mining and oil and gas extraction in brown leisure and hospitality in green transportation and utilities in the light brown orange color uh, professional and business services in the magenta color and information services in the dark brown color all of those sectors have improved this is good news for almost every part of the economy in terms of the latest march job numbers particularly about workers who were impacted most by the pandemic in fact the unemployment rate actually held steady or fell for every demographic group for every race ethnicity and gender compared to february now the good news is that women for the second month in a row gained a significant portion of new jobs also the unemployment rate for black women 20 years and older fell that's good news the unemployment rate also fell for workers 55 years and older in fact the number of people who said they were unable to work because their employer closed or lost business fell by 40% from 4.2 million in february to 2.5 million last month also compared to last year unemployment rates have fallen significantly in services like leisure hospitality and retail as the economy reopened this is all good news also the oil and gas industry staged a huge comeback from the low of the pandemic with business activity jumping to its highest reading in the past 6 years also here's another headline on your screen this one's from cnbc march unemployment rate nears pre pandemic levels black workers see sharp improvement this is all very very encouraging news let's take a look at this image on your screen us unemployment rates for black hispanic and white workers black workers are represented in orange hispanic workers in dark blue and white workers in light blue as we scroll from left to right you see that all three workers black hispanic and white all of them saw substantial improvements in unemployment this is good news finally let's take a look at this table on your screen us unemployment rates by race and ethnicity as we scroll from left to right you see that prior to the pandemic white workers were at 3% unemployment it went up all the way to 5.3% in march 2021 and is now back down to 3.2% which is almost almost pre pandemic levels black workers were at 6% unemployment went as high as 9.5% in march 2021 and are now down to 6.2% close to pre pandemic levels asian workers went from a low of 2.4% to as high as 5.9% in march 2021 and are now down to 2.8% and hispanic or latino workers who were at 4.4% unemployment prior to the pandemic are now at 4.2% this is close to the pre pandemic levels this is very encouraging in fact black workers saw the greatest drop in unemployment rates falling from 6.6% in february to 6.2% in march here's a quote from valerie wilson the director of economic policy institute's program on race ethnicity and the economy those series tend to be volatile so you have to kind of look at it over a longer period of time in the last 3 months there has been a consistent decline in the black unemployment rate and the labor force participation rate has been fairly stable which means more people are coming back to work wilson also said that does point to things moving in the right direction in fact let's take a look at the labor force participation rate in january 2020 it was high and you can start to see that it fell substantially after the pandemic because the entire economy shut down businesses shut down people had to drop out of work not just because there was no job but because they had to take care of children they had to take care of elderly individuals everybody was home bound now the good news is that things are indeed getting back to normal so this is an excellent thing in fact job growth continued in march in the retail industry and even though the unemployment rate for black and latino women and people of color is still higher than the national average it's much 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 lower than it was a couple of months ago and it's pretty close to what it was at the start of the pandemic so these are all 
encouraging signs. So at the end of the day, we are getting back to pre-pandemic levels of unemployment. And this is good news. Do we still have a long way to go? Absolutely. We still have to try and make sure that everyone gets paid a fair wage. We have to make sure that everyone has dignity of labor and inflation is brought under control. Gas prices are brought under control. But folks, we, we won't be able to solve all our problems at one time, one step at a time. The good news is we are moving in the right direction. Folks, I'm always going to tell you the truth wherever the truth might lead us. A lot of channels on YouTube actually present a doomsday scenario and tell you that the world's going to end. A lot of channels actually try and string you along with completely useless stimulus proposals that are never, ever, ever going to become law. And I want you to know that we have no more stimulus checks coming, even though the $1,400 stimulus checks, there are some individuals who can qualify who never got the stimulus checks before. I did do a video about that on our channel the other day. But more importantly, this is good news. We are slowly, slowly getting back to normal. And I want you to know that at the end of the day, we can all get back to work, try and get back to pre-pandemic levels of employment and hopefully, hopefully have better jobs. The problem here is that inflation is now starting to go out of control. So even if you make more money, your dollar doesn't go very far. And I'm confident that inflation will be bought back under control because that is what the Federal Reserve is trying to do. If you want me to do more videos on inflation, just let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you had you had a glimmer of hope, a ray of hope from the content in this episode of Ignition Time. Please take a moment to click like, to click subscribe and to enable notifications. Also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Ignition underscore time. That's Ignition underscore time. So once again, this is great news pertaining to unemployment because a lot of individuals, a lot of ethnicities, a lot of sectors that were badly damaged as a result of the pandemic are now finally starting to get back on their feet. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.